when adjusting for Sayuta, you can see here we need 11 provinces uh, to get the achievement. We are going to get five from Brittany, and uh, we are planning right now to attack Sweden and take at least five from them. Uh, now, depending on how long that takes and or if we get the Burgundian inheritance in the meantime, it is um, looking pretty good that we're going to be able to manage it. Either way, guys, welcome back to Big Blue Blob. We're going to get it. It's just a matter of when. Right. Sooner or later, I would like to get it. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It takes some time. But I do hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. And welcome back to the channel. I do want to ask, have you guys gotten Big Blue Blob? Because I've gotten a lot of comments kind of like, uh, you know, telling me about guides that people have followed and whatnot. And while I do say guides tend to be quite useful, I also am uh, kind of not really a big fan of guides as I feel like they are, uh, they teach you to play in a one dimensional way. Uh, I think that the best way to learn the game is to play the game, but you know, to each their own. Of course, I would never tell somebody that I don't, that I think you're playing the game wrong or whatever. Okay. So we've got, um, we've got this here. Let's go ahead and uh, take all their money as well. Now, if we can improve relations with just a couple of people around here, we will not get a coalition, which is obviously something we want to avoid if we can. All right. And uh, now what we need to do here, yeah, we're going to have some rebels. This I'm going to keep because Breton is in our culture group. So the closer we get to a thousand dev, we'll, we'll be able to get it upgraded for free. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys over here. So this 25 stack... We are home guard. These guys only have 12. Lithuania's got a lot. But at last I looked, Burgundy was willing to join. Which is Vundova. That will help us outnumber them. We're going to go for this Dalaskogan province here. And remember, we do have a... Um, I'm going to we'll go down to speed four here. We do have a fort here. A mountain fort even. So I'm going to scorch this. Just, just to be smart. We have subjugated Burgundy. Who gives us some diplomana, which is nice. Breast dockyards, huh? Five Carracks? My goodness! Uh, I can I can build a dockyard there. Goodness gracious. Does it say dock? Yeah. Five heavy ships. I don't really want it right now, because I can't really afford it, but... Oh my goodness, that is a lot. Either way, uh, this devastation here is not going to be going down anytime soon. It's all good, though. But, uh, yeah... Hopefully today is the day we will be getting our achievement, right? Now, let's take a look here. We've got 90. So we need to take at least six provinces in this war. Um, yeah, coalition is, is going to grow. I'm not really, really certain that that is just unavoidable at this point. A couple of these guys, we need to just make sure that they... Um, Utrecht joined. Rather than letting Friesland join, I can... Scornfully insult. Oh, they already joined. Okay, so who has joined? Those two guys. These guys are subjects, so I don't care about them. Switzerland has gone below 50, or is right about 50. These guys will join, but if I improve relations with them just for a month or two, they will not join. I need to be actually negative. Um, I think we're good. I do think we're good. Now, these guys over here, I'm just going to be chilling. Uh, I don't need a whole lot of war score, honestly. Uh, if Lithuania wants to march men all the way into the north here, they can be my guest. They will get absolutely dominated. I'm going to have Burgundy focus these guys down. Actually, I'll have Burgundy focus down on all my enemies. And then I will guard the homeland slash Burgundy's lands because their fort, on, their fort, li fort line is actually going to be extremely useful. All right, cool. So that's good. We obviously need to core up everything. A Our admin is, is painfully low on our end. Let's go ahead and switch our focus over to admin. We have the war goal here. These guys have 15,000. How much manpower do they have? Also, they have 20 nape, 20 galleys. Yeah, okay. We do need to be mindful of that. But I think we can get naval dominance pretty easy. And if I sink a couple of their ships, steal a couple of their galleys, that's like best case scenario. Stole a transport. Eh, that's all right. What kind of a navy... Let's get rid of some transports. Don't need them. We sunk their entire navy, though. Now, these guys over here, that is six galleys. This would be ideal because this the Skagrak is actually coast. It is not uh, inland sea. So they do not... Oh, we stole one. That's something. That is something. Perfect. 
Let's track these guys down. Now, a coalition is forming, but I think we're okay. This 11 stack is absolutely doomed. Yes, this is perfect. Okay. Let's uh, get started on sieging them down here. If they want to stand over here, they can be my guest. I don't care. <laughs> doesn't matter to me. Uh, obviously, we do need to make sure we are continuing to core. I will core up everything that is giving us the most overextension. Yeah, the overextension is painful. But this, it's fine. I'm really not worried about it. We are losing so much money. It's actually kind of nuts. All right. Where's our cannon at? We have our cannon over here? Yes, we do. With our five siege general, we will win this siege extremely quickly, which is awesome. And these guys are going to, um, you know, get trapped down here. Let's get another general. Let's get one more over here. Nice. Now, I don't see Burgundy. Okay, it looks like they are marching this way. So they're starting to march into Lithuania proper. Fine by me. Oh, yeah, this should be fine. Keeping an eye on our rebels as well. Obviously, we're, we're probably going to have rebels. It looks like if these guys are going to head over that way, if we have access, I might as well head on over and start sieging down Lundberg. I'll keep these guys here at the very least. Yeah, what are you guys going to do? Head up onto Trondalog? Yeah, I don't actually want to fight them if I don't have to. There you go. They're heading up onto our mountain fort. No, oh, maybe not. Truce with the Naples is over. Yeah, they're a little upset with us. Now, I'm curious where their army is. 35,000 men. They have 16, but there's 11 of them right there. So this is like absolutely perfect. Come on, lock in, homie. Lock in. All right, we stack wiped their little army there, which is great. Hmm. I don't think so. I do not want those rebels to do that. <laughs> lock in. Lock in. No. Lock in. Dang it. <laughs> they will not lock in. Truce with the Pope is over. Why do I keep getting truces with the Pope? Are we not on good terms? Oh, wait. I missed it. Dang it. I didn't see Pope died. I actually saved scum the last episode for that. That's okay. Let's go with autonomy change. This is fine. And I will continue our coring. Of course, we are overextended. But you can see it's going to be very cheap to take a lot of land in this war. Look at this. 26. AE is like non-existent because it's all very low development. I will take Dalaskogan. Might as well, like, snipe all these low-dev provinces, like, down here. I will take Elfsburg. Don't need Holland over here. Something like... Honestly, I may actually just release one province for uh, Finland. That will give us a lot of trade over here that we can use to steer. Um, and then, obviously, we're, eventually we're going to move our capital into the, the north... Um, uh, the English Channel, of course. Improved relations is going to help us with our AE. If you did not know, aggressive expansion ticks down at a rate that scales based on your um, improved relations numbers. Yikes. All right. These guys are coming for me here. 78%. Come on, baby. Yeah, the Lithuanians are here. They have ar arrived. Let's blockade them. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, they're blockaded. They cannot come in this way now. This is perfect, actually. Oh, shoot. Are you? Come again? <laughs> this game sucks, bro. <laughs> Why is there a Lithuanian army here? My goodness. I just got absolutely bamboozled here. That is so cancer. That was a 13 stack that just got stack wiped. Whatever, man. Whatever. You can kiss my butt. This game's trash. <laughs> Absolute garbage. All right, anyways, I do not have any subjects, so I'm going to hold on to this fort myself. No big deal. Now, the best case scenario is... Actually, no. I want to track these guys down. Um, Ottoman's opinion of me. Really. Mm, we might be able to do that. They are rivaled to my rival, but they're also allied to my al rival to my ally. Yo, what? What's going on over here? They're trying to form Andalusia as Castile. <laughs> Um. Yeah, sure. I will. I'll build a trade building down there eventually. No big deal. Yeah, these guys are stuck here now. This thirteen stack is just—they're stuck here. They—they they can't do anything. Um. So that's a solid half of their army is, is stuck there now. So that's great. Uh, as far as loans go, I don't think we've picked up any extra loans. I will go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So this is a, this is what's called Florinomics. You take out loans. 
We're going to repay all these one percenters, right? Which will get rid of that, which will allow us to take this one here, which will give us five loans that are equally uh, big. And then we will repay the four percenters, or at least as many of them as we can. Uh, but now you can see we have lower interest. Well, you, you would see we have lower interest. I will also, uh, I need to buy down my inflation eventually because we do have pretty bad inflation right now. We're also over our governing capacity, which is increasing our uh, CCR as well as AE impact. So, you know, these are all things we have to be mindful of, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Where are you guys going, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Where are we at here? Let's go with dun, 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 farmlands bonus would be nice. Transfer subjects. Mm. Feudal du jour law actually might be the way. If we can avoid rebels, I would like to do that. It looks like we're okay, though. Honest, All things considered, I think we're okay. Yeah, these guys are just going to be chilling over here. This is fine. As long as they're not making any major progress. And then meanwhile, they're getting sieged down. Uh, I'll be able to peace out Lithuania and probably have them give me lots of money, which would be great because I love money. We're going to need it. Now, I don't remember exactly when I got the achievement. I've gotten the achievement before. If you do not know, I've gotten it before. I did it on this channel, only I did like an edited version. Are they locked in? Lock in, dude. Because I scorched the fort. <laughs> Taking so long to get there. Look at this. This is crazy. There you go. Uh, so now I'll be able to stack wipe this 11 stack on the fort, which is going to be great. The untrustworthy scum of England have sent us an insult, you sons of biscuits. All right, cool. So if we, we've already won some sieges over here. Lithuania is uh, not long. We'll be able to get them out of the war very quickly. Now, they do have a general that's pretty solid over here. A 5-1. Not bad at all. We have Pierre de Crivichy here on this part. On this uh, army here. Is that a wipe? Oh, nut. <laughs> all right. Let the uh, carpet sieging begin, my friends. And I think that's it. I think that's game blouses. That's a big boo blob in the bag. And obviously, we're going to get better than Napoleon, which does require us to take quite a bit of land. I think you need to have Moscow, Vienna, and Berlin, maybe? Those are the three? I can't uh, remember exactly. I'll have to check it um, on the wiki. The wiki. But uh, no big deal. Either way, things are going extremely smoothly on this run. Told you. The AE changes are absolutely massive. They make it much easier to do basically anything, which is great. All right, very good. Let's make sure we are keeping you guys over here. And as long as I keep these armies over here blockaded, they will do nothing. Now, yeah, we have our five siege over here. We got some rebels over here. Let's go down here into Skona. Make sure we're getting these guys full occupied up here in the north. AE is, uh, or uh, aggressive expansion is basically good. Yeah. As far as this war goes, we do need to be mindful, but like most of it is, like, this is it. I can take, look how many provinces this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 provinces, and I will not, my coalition will not grow. Kind of nuts when you think of it that way, right? Actually kind of nuts. All right, cool. Those guys are about to get stack wiped. Little stack right there. Very good. Now, hmm. Looks like they're actually holding on for dear life. This is fine. It's fine. That frees up these armies to come. And obviously we want to see these guys down. I think that is basically it though. That's a, that's the game. Let's get you guys over here onto here. And uh, with Lithuania out of the picture, the Navy game is a couple of galleys for Svitjod right here. I think that, how do you say Sweden in, in uh, Swedish? I actually forget. I forgore. And uh, win a couple of sieges over here, and we are good to go. In about 85. I think you have to core them all as well. So, sadly, it's still going to be a little bit longer because we got to core up a ton of land. Where's this Rebels popping, huh? My goodness. Oh, Muscovy? No, you son of a gun! Muscovy! I didn't even see this happening. 
70 some thousand men. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we definitely need to make sure that I am occupying as many provinces as possible here. Um, hopefully my allies are in charge of the siege. Nope. You absolute jackasses. <sighs> I'll take the admin mana. We need it. All right. Well, at least everything down here will be good for us. Sadly, that is a lot of land that they're taking. Very annoying. Let's get over here and siege down Oland. sink uh, their fleet here. Yikes. They're there, but they're not on it right now. Yes. Please, please, please. Let me have it. Let me have it. Let me have it. All right. Let's um detach our busted up ships. These are galleys here, so I do need to be mindful. We didn't steal any. Feels bad. I was hoping to steal some ships from them, but that's fine. All right. So... I guess we'll just head on into Skona. No, we cannot do that. Right, all this land up here is much more development than the other stuff. Because Muscovy decided that they wanted to invade. I mean, I can't blame them. It's smart, but uh, it's very annoying nonetheless. Oh, here are those rebels. Goodness gracious, I missed that. All right, let's peace out his allies then. Let's head on over here and handle those rebels. All right, let's make sure we are blockading these lads over here, of course, for the extra war score. I will piece you guys out for your war reps and some monies. Thank you. Let us extend the monopoly. That is fine. That will allow me to pay off a couple more of these four percenters. So all of our loans are low interest, which is very useful. Very good for us. Let's make sure we have our best general in charge of that army there. AE is bad, but it's not terrible. I don't want Austria to join a coalition, though. That would be less than ideal. So let's just make sure, at the very least, that I can get the achievement here. So I need six more provinces. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As well as a center of trade and a fort over here. The rest can all be money. Oh, it's a good amount of money. How much am I going to get? 300 or so? Very good. And uh, now you can see here, we have 105 provinces, and uh, all we need to do is core it all up, and we will get the achievement. Now, hopefully, 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 very soon we will be able to um, get that Burgundian inheritance. I know I got it before on my previous run. I did get it, like, right as time was ending. Now, let's see here. Let's, for now, now that I've basically got the achievement, we're just going to be laying low. I'm going to fight off rebels. I'm not going to decrease autonomy anymore because at this point we are pretty, pretty sorted um, as far as, you know, AE. Uh, now we're just kind of hanging out and waiting. Once we get a lawn, that'll be really useful as well. We did all that without province war score cost as well. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, please take some money for some more exhaustion. That is an awesome trade. And I'll continue to core everything up. Very good, man. Very good. All right, lads. Hopefully you get a thumbs up for some big blue blob, right? Now, I think there's a way that you can check achievements, but I think you have to be in non-Iron Man mode to do it. It's like debug. What is it? It's like debug achievements or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it allows you to essentially um, kind of see what you're working with for achievements. Let's get rid of this. Do need to build up some better forts, though. But yeah, these two are good. I think I'll probably build another one up here. Because once we go to war with Muscovy, it's going to be very useful for us. Sadly, I can't release a subject in um, nor in uh, Finland. I would have liked to have released a subject in Finland, but, you know, you can't win them all. Let's make sure we keep these guys nice and happy with us. Burgundy is calling us in in a war against Savoie. Yeah, it's not ideal, but uh, it's okay. I will join. It's fine. Now... Let's see here. How's the devastation over here? Yeah, there isn't any. So we're good? Oh, no, no, no. There is some devastation over here. Okay. Um. 
because Venice is probably going to flood into my lands. That's just what the AI does. I don't really want to help if I don't need to. I'm just kind of here for moral support. <laughs> but uh, the fact that I deleted my forts means they're probably going to march directly onto uh, to Paris. Okay, they got another air. Feels bad. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. We're improving our relations. Our AE is manageable. We do not have a coalition that is formed. Uh, whenever our truce is up with England, it is up. We could attack them whenever we feel fit. But in the meantime, I'm going to hurry up and get some claims on them. Obviously, I don't need... Let's get some claims on you while they're still here. And uh, I am disappointed. Feels bad. We have this... Uh, this uh, sh Whatever. Stora Cooper Cooper Berget. Which I just... I think it just means like Copper Mountain or something like that. But um, look at that. 5.6 goods produced. This uh, province right here produces like... Whatever that is. 20% of the world's copper. So it's pretty nuts. It's pretty nuts. Um, sadly, we're not steering most much of it at all. Um, once we get some trade power over here, I will move my... So in this next war with England, I'm going to take hopefully these two states. We've already got quite a bit of clay up here. Uh, once we integrate these... Now, if and when we do get the Burgundian succession, we got to be mindful because um, they are... Um, Genevieve, huh? Whenever they... We get this. Austria will attack us, I'm pretty sure. So we got to be mindful of that. It is a... It could be quite painful. Austria just declared war on Hungary. Uh, not much of a Hungary left over here, but there is indeed a Hungary. <laughs> oh my. All right. We are blessed. Free money. Bro, who doesn't love free money? I know I do. See, I told you. AI was going to flood into my lands. I just want Venice to not be in this war. Yeah, look at this. Look at that, man. 30-some thousand men just marching around my forts. Let's uh, put you guys on defensiveness. If you want to sit on my fort, you can. We have Norwegian separatists from Sweden. I guess I will fight them with my general over here. Sounds good. We can now take some innovativeness from Miltech. I don't think it's necessary, though. I would rather do some development. There you go. I mean, obviously we want innovativeness, but um, five years ahead of time is quite, quite exp All right. Um, yeah, you guys are annoying, man. All right, cool. We don't have any rebels over here anymore. So let's get you guys brought down here then. The Norwegian separatists are going to be like an eight stack. So let's go ahead and get our other half of our navy... Or our, our Navy bringing this other half of this army over here. Do not try to march there, you absolute clowns. All right. Now, yeah, we do need to get some buildings built. Now that we've got money, it's, um, or we, we've got kind of where we wanted to be. We need to be mindful of our money. Spending it, making it work for us, right? Let's get down here. We've renewed our loans. It is what it is. Siege our stuff back. Look at that. 22 stack of Venetians. Beelining it for my lands. Though their return province should keep... Should be the Charlois or whatever. So... Let's see. How, how far off am I from Elon? I'm very close to Elon. I'm chilling here. Oh, they got a wall breach. Look at that. POV, you're... Trying to wait a few months so you can... Uh, get a 20% morale boost. 14% chance. Are they going to take it? They did not. Ah, one more month. 21%. Come on, baby. All right. Let's um, click that one there and then do that. You can't lose papal mana if you don't have it. So go ahead and spend it first. There you go. Let's take that. 20% morale of armies, which is insane. Let's take our godlike general over here and uh, dominate these guys. Who's your daddy? Did I have Rebels Pop? I'm pretty sure I heard Rebels Pop. Oh my gosh. Castile, what? Why do they have Granada and Separatists? What? Why are they marching up here? Are they going to try to march all the way around the... Um... What are you guys doing? That is absolutely foolish. All right. But uh, yeah, we're going to get this one, which will give us minus 60 on uh, every tech from now on for this tech. It's minus 60 because it is minus 10% of the base, which is 600. So minus 60 forever. Um, so it's worth to just fall behind time, fall behind on tech. 
get that idea. Also, if you do not know, each idea gives you 2%. Uh, I can show you. I've taken six ideas, and you will see a minus 12% from ideas, right? Six ideas or seven per group. So this uh, idea group will give me minus whatever that is, minus uh, 24% cost. So whatever that is, minus uh, 120 plus another 4%. So I'm not good at uh, small quick maths like that, but... It's, a, it's statistically significant, which will free up a lot of Diplo mana in the future for developing and whatnot. Uh, either way, we definitely got the big blue blob today. It was a lot easier than I was thinking it was going to be. I don't know. Have we finished our cores yet? Um, well, I don't know. We're still coring one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like we don't officially have it yet. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, yeah, Muscovy popping off over here. But uh, either way, once we finish up these cores, which is going to be like in a few moments, actually, hey... But um, let's go ahead and get the achievement real quick. I do already have it, like I said. So it's not going to show up on my screen or anything like that. But it is all fine and dandy. Are these guys going to fight them? They will. Very good. And it looks like these guys are getting beat up on. And there we go. 105. 104 total. Minus the one in Sayuda. 104. Four provinces in Europe before 1500. So not too bad, right? 44 years it took me to uh, conquer 80-some provinces. I'd say that's a, a solid run, right? But we're going to keep the run, run going. We're going to get better than Napoleon and then hopefully Napoleon's ambition. Uh, so it'll be a nice long run. I know you guys generally are asking for those uh, those longer those longer runs. So hopefully that is something that appeals to you. And if it is, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. Subscribe for more. Uh, content in the future and if you want to uh, join the discord subreddit or the twitter those are all linked in the description below as well as my patreon if you want early access to chubert vids which is my second channel you can check out my patreon for as little as five dollars a month you'll get access but uh yeah that's all i got for you for today this is chewy shoot and we'll catch you guys later